Hub Sense switches perform similar networking functions. They both are networking devices used to connect multiple devices within a LAN, but their methods of handling data traffic and facilitate communication among connected devices are different. In this office LAN setup, if we use a hub instead of a switch, the users may experience various problems. They might notice that the network runs slower, causing delays when they browse the internet, stream media or transfer files. Moreover, there could be worries about the privacy and security of their data. Network congestion becomes a problem as more devices join the network, leading to even more delays and reduced efficiency. To understand why this happens, we need to see how both hubs and switches handle data traffic. Before going further, let's quickly refresh our understanding of what a LAN actually is. A LAN or a local area network is a network of interconnected computers and devices that are close to each other, typically within the same building or a small area like a home, office or campus. LANs allow these devices to share resources such as files, printers and internet connections and communicate with each other. First, we will see how a hub helps communication among computers in a network. A hub is a basic networking device that connects computers within a local area network. A hub operates at the physical layer of the network. Our example hub has four ports labeled port 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have four computers A, B, C and D. Each computer is connected to one of the ports on the hub using Ethernet cables. Let's say computer A wants to send a data packet to computer C. When computer A sends the data packet, it travels through the Ethernet cable and reaches the hub. The hub receives the data packet and then sends the packet to all connected computers including B, C and D. Computer B, C and D receive the broadcasted data packet from the hub. But computer A wanted to send the data packet to only computer C. Here, computer C processes the packet and acknowledges it. The other computers that are not the intended recipients will simply discard the packet without taking any action. Hubs do not have the intelligence to identify the intended destination device because they do not perform any packet filtering or analysis based on the destination address. Instead, they replicate and forward the received packets to all the devices connected to them. That's how a hub works. Collisions can happen in a hub-based network, leading to reduced performance and congestion. Hubs pose many security concerns as well. Due to all these, hubs are generally considered outdated technology for modern network environments. Now, let's replace the hub with a switch in the same network of four computers and see how the switch works differently in the same scenario. A switch operates at the data link layer of the network and is more intelligent in handling data traffic. When a packet arrives at a switch, it examines the destination MAC address of the packet. Switch maintains a record called a MAC address table, which maps MAC addresses to specific switch ports. Initially, the MAC address table is empty. Let's say computer A wants to send a data packet to computer C. The switch receives the packet from A and examines the destination MAC address. If the switch has already learned the MAC address of computer C, it will forward the packet only to the port associated with computer C's MAC address, ensuring that only computer C receives the packet. Computers A, B and D will not receive the packet since their MAC addresses are not associated with the destination MAC address. If the switch does not have the MAC address of computer C in its MAC address table, it sends the packet to all connected ports similar to how a hub operates. However, once computer C responds to the packet, the switch learns the MAC address of computer C and associates it with the port through which the response was received. From that point forward, when computer A sends a packet intended for computer C, the switch looks up its MAC address table, identifies the port associated with computer C's MAC address and selectively forwards the packet only to that specific port. Computers B and D will not receive the packet, reducing unnecessary network traffic. This selective forwarding capability of switches based on MAC addresses allows for more efficient and secure data transmission within the network.
switches reduce network congestion, provide better bandwidth utilization, and enhance security by ensuring that packets are only forwarded to the intended recipients, improving overall network performance. That's it for today's video. We hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.